Bear Podcast, episode 382. Just makes you all fuzzy inside. So was it all lube? What kind of lube? Okay, you're ready. But he's got a. But in the picture that he's got on, it looks like he's got a bear. I got to see lots of bears playing. What? You mean you didn't have your podcast equipment with you? It's actually plants killing zombies. Would it be better to go there and then get sick afterwards? <laughs> Well, I don't know. It depends on what you get. <laughs> Me and James have a lot in common. We're both tasty like Matt Bear Prod. Don selling his thong, okay. having it auctioned off. I think he got one hundred fifty dollars just for his thong. Your question of the week. The second <laughs> question of the week. Oh, really? You want instant gratification? In the yeah, those bears get around. Everybody knows everybody in this world. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Bear Podcast. This is Nard. And this is Ray. <laughs> right. Hi, Ray. Hi, Mary. You sound like a uh, oh, this guy. Brazilian. Oh, this guy. Brazilian Martin Gold. So welcome everyone to episode 382. Yes, it's uh, it's a Monday right now that we're recording. Yeah, so unfortunately it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Don't you just hate Mondays? <laughs> okay. No. If all I had to do on Mondays was podcast, it'd be great. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. It's always fun to do this. So, Ray, how are you? How have you been? I've been fine. How's everybody? How have you been? Oh, pretty good. Just uh, been busy. I've been sweating Maybe. my ass off the last couple of days because it is hot as hell in Houston. Mm -hmm. near, get, get near the microphone. What? There you go. Up close and personal. Yeah, then, then don't whisper, okay? Don't whisper, okay. <laughs> then don't whisper, okay. okay. I won't whisper, sorry. All right. So, yeah. So, I have a very uh, feminine voice. It's just been a, a busy week for me. Let me see. Let me just. Uh oh. It's been a, a busy week. Really? Oh. You've got to listen to your iPod now. No, I'm not listening to my iPod. Oh, and don't bring out that little <laughs> HPad, HP Touch thing. I don't even want to see it. I, I was lucky enough to get even. one. I got one. But uh, let me see. When, how do you do this? Yeah, I got a. Um, I thought they were already sold out. And then you still went and got one? Yeah, I was lucky enough to get one. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's, well, um, since you got that, you don't need your iPad anymore. Can I buy it off of you? <laughs> the iPad. Well, the iPad is. Uh, I, I I plan to do some geeky stuff on it. So. Uh, so you know. Just like the, the other five maybe. computers he has sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I I got it. I talked about we talked about it in the last episode that uh, it ran out. They did run out, but then they restocked, and I was just lucky enough to walk in Best Buy, and they said, "Oh, we have we have some." So. I lined up right Are there. they going to have any more? Uh, I don't know if they're going to restock. Maybe you can find it online now. Yeah, I think that's that's how, how they're going to um, uh, get those get those out in the market. I don't know about Best Buy, Best Buy though, but probably online. Your Stick mic's falling, man. Your mic's keep falling. You need to give your mic some Viagra. <laughs> there. You that? just can't keep it up. <laughs> I can't keep it up. Why it's is not it very falling? good with oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was lucky enough to get one, and uh, yeah, I lined up. This is the second time I lined up for something. It's yeah, that 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 picture was from uh, from uh, Sudden Decadence. <gasps> Shh, we can't talk about that yet. Oh, not yet, Sudden Decadence. Okay, so yeah, it's a it's been a busy weekend for me. Also, uh, what happened to me last week and last Wednesday? There was a storm here. Just blow. What? Just blow away. A little one. It destroyed my tree. We have a tree at the. back. A limb fell and took not four boards out of your. Fence no, it's not there. a limb. It's it's. The tree, it fell down. You have to see. I'll, I'll show it to you later. And it's, uh, you know, half of the tree fell down. And, and it, it's a good thing it didn't fall into the house. It would have been, it would, it would suck. And all those people that died on the East Coast because of Irene. Mm -hmm. And you're worried about one little tree. Oh, yeah. It destroyed my, oh, oh, a section of my fence. So we spent. I mean, it'll be years before they get New York built back. Mm -hmm. We spent um, a good um, good day of, of, um Saturday, just building the, building the uh, the fence, and we were yeah, I bushed it up. I really used the chainsaw. <laughs> That's the butchest thing I could do, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Until you figure out he could put that chain, attach that chainsaw to his dildo attachment, and then it was on. Oh yeah. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, that's what uh, we've been uh, busy about. Uh, you know, busy with it's. And so many thanks to Wayne and Kent for helping out. I wish you were here, Ray. You could you could have uh, helped. Did you call me? No. But it was really, you know, it was, you know, it were all. I could have stood around supervised. Kent, you could have supervised. Supervised. Yeah. yeah. 
But brought Wayne, y'all water. But with Wayne and Kent already, you having three people. Yeah, I could have, but yeah. I wasn't sure where you were. Was, but was Wayne bouncing around the backyard? Yeah, he was. He was. He wasn't even taking pictures though. Well, yeah. Wayne's very hyper. By the way, if y'all don't know who Wayne is, he's so, very hyper. Uh, yeah, so that's what uh, kept me busy this weekend. How about you, Ray? What what kept you busy? Work, work some Saturday. Work on a Saturday? Mm, yeah, trying to catch up. So, because I had to ask for Friday off, so I had to make sure some work was done, so I can go to Southern Decadence. But um, that was about it. I went and saw. I hear you still. So, uh, there you go. Okay, sorry. Talk louder. I am yes. mumbling. I apologize. <clears throat> yeah, you have to. Speak I'm all louder. congested. Ever since this storm hit Wednesday, the allergies have been killing me. Mm-hmm. Even though it's dry as hell out there now, and you'd think the mole's gone, but it's still killing me. Um, other than that, Saturday night we went and saw, um, 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 oh yeah, Columbia, Columbiana, which was pretty good. In the movies or a TV show? What is the it? Movie. A movie. The movie that released this weekend. Columbiana. What's it about? It's about this little seven-year-old girl. Her parents were are in the drug business in Columbia, and the and their dad's trying to get out of it, and the guy's like, oh. Okay, go. And then, like within an hour, he comes and kills everybody except for her, and she escapes and get, makes it to the U.S. and comes to live with her uncle. And she grows up to be a, an assassin. Oh. So she's killed all these people, and she's left her trademark. And they finally release it because she's been like waiting for them to release it. So this guy, this guy, has been brought to America too. And been given a deal with the CIA because apparently he sold somebody out or something. But anyhow. Colombiana. Um, so it's just all about her getting revenge for him mm-hmm. killing her parents. So, Colombiana. I don't know if I'm going to watch I, it. It, it, was, it was, it wasn't that bad. It was, you know, very actionish, chick kicking ass type stuff, blowing stuff up. You know, <laughs> so it was pretty good. It was <laughs> blowing stuff it. up. We went to the photo aisle theater, so it was good. Mm-hmm. I still got to go see Don't Be Afraid of the Dark because, you know, that's the one that gave me night terrors as a child. So. Oh, there's a remake? There's a remake. Yeah, it came up, up in this remaking weekend. Remaking everything. Uh, Guillermo de Thermo. How you say I can't ever say his name. Guillermo, Guillermo del, del Toro. Toro. <laughs> you troll the R. Did a remake. A remake. Doing a remake. Of this English movie that scared the crap out of me <laughs> as a kid. And up until I even year, a couple years ago, I was having night terrors about it. So it's out. So I got to go see it now. Just, you know, to, like traumatize myself even more. Mm-hmm. Um, Sunday, I hung a ceiling fan and watched True Blood and. That was about it. What do you think of True Blood? Mm. I'm beginning to dislike what's going on. It's more like it's like heroes now. Well, I don't know. It's there's only two more episodes left of the really? season. So having um, Suki they, they, using your powers. So. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, it's like that. I know. It's just, <laughs> it's just like, you know, really? Bill! I, I don't mind Aaron. them veering from the book some, but some things, you know, just I think it's got to be left alone, you know. And yeah. Well, they are just basing True Blood on the book. On the book. Just basing it, but not necessarily following the story. Yeah, but now, she's not like zapping know, people in the book and stuff. She's not. Like, she's no. not right. God. It's like so, it's like I mean, heroes. I mean, that's the whole thing about Soupy that uh, Soupy Suki Suki Suki. The whole thing about Suki is that um, in the book she's a very down to earth girl, and the only special thing about her is that she has part fairy Mm -hmm. so it gives her the the whole telepathic thing but the whole light thing from no i think they're going the laser beam yeah i think that's going a little bit too far that's that's too much i mean i can understand it's the whole telekinesis telekinetic thing and all that but i'm like okay don't take it too far Mm -hmm. so but anyway, speaking and then, of then Jason falling in love with what's you know and her hooking up and then him not turning into a were panther and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's just that's kind of weird. Yeah. But anyway, so since, since uh, we're in the topic of uh, vampires, I want to talk about Forks Washington. <laughs> See, Some great pictures segue. over here. Well, that's not. Well, that's not. There, Forks. forks. There's Forks. Yeah. With a Forks. Miles, forks. miles. Yeah, we were driving from uh, Denver, sorry, Vancouver. So not uh, Vancouver. We went to uh, back. We were driving from Vancouver, and we went to uh, Washington, and then we rode the ferry from Port Angeles. What was his name? Ferry. Mike. Mike. His name is Mike. <laughs> the ferry's name the ferry. is Mike. <laughs> yeah. We drove all the way to Forks, Washington, and yeah, it's for those of you who don't know. Forks is where Twilight was. That's the setting. For those of you that live under a rock in Africa, this mm. is where Twilight's filmed. Yes. 
That's where or where the story is set. Anyhow, it's not, where it's, uh, I don't the know if it's set. necessarily always so, filmed there. Yeah, so we went to uh, Bella's house. We went to the school that she went to, but the school that was uh, that they were. It's they really destroyed it. I mean, they they're rebuilding it. So yeah, the, the, the the school. But was that the there. actual school they used in the movies? Uh, yes, I think it's what? the it's the actual school they used in the movies. But then they they are now rebuilding it. Okay. They tore it down and rebuilt rebuilding it. So I we got to this store. Yeah, this is uh, this Bella's, Bella's house. house. <laughs> okay, Sully's Burgers. Sully's Burgers. They're serving Bella Burgers. It's supposed to be beef patty, lettuce. Tomato and the pineapple. So that's a Bella burger. <laughs> so, In other words, it makes you whiny. Oh my God, Edward, you're sparkling. Oh my God, Edward. Oh my God. You're sparkling, oh, Edward. Edward. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Bella so, should just die. I know. It's, uh, yeah, everything it the there. the story so much more easier. Everything there it, at Forks, everything's twilight. Twilight, uh, twilight firewood, twilight, uh, dazzled by twilight. Bedazzled by twilight. Bedazzled by twilight. <laughs> And they have um, twilight be down everything's twilight. Oh God! Well, you Dude. know what? It's a small community, economic hard times. They got to cash in. I don't know, four thousand people, I think, something like that. I, I'm not sure how many. It's a small town. It's, it's a very like, small town. It's kind of like where I grew up. It's very small. Yeah, it's a very small community. Everybody mm-hmm. knows anybody else farts. It's all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but they got some. They got some tourists up in there. They got to cash in on it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it, it was fun. It was fun. It's um, it's good to. To go around there, although I saw people who are more Team Edward there, and they were wearing Team Edward shirts. Really, we're all about Team Jacob over here. Mm-hmm. Yep, Wolf. most of the people I know here are all Team Edward, uh, Team Team Jacob here in Houston. Yeah. So yeah, that's Forks Washington. Just flash some pictures for you guys to see. Okay. Anyway, so Forks. there, see Twilight Tours. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have a bus specifically for. Yeah. For for Twilight, and I wonder how much all this stuff is actually licensed out, or they just put throw Twilight on it. Yeah, everything's they put Twilight in everything now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so let's move on. This coming weekend, Ray's gonna come with us at last. That's right. I'm going to Southern Decadence. Watch out. Go to New Orleans. Yes, Yay. Southern Decadence. Ray and I are going, and we'll probably be recording from there. Yep. most probably, and then we're gonna walk around. Uh, Bourbon Street, or maybe at the Phoenix. I don't know yet. What well, we there's not do? too much walking around the Phoenix. No, there's not much. Yeah. Probably around Lafitte's. Probably yeah. record uh, right beside Lafitte's there. So because we'll at the Phoenix is about only a couple things you can do in there that, and you certainly can't take cameras. Oh no, you can't. But in the streets, you but can. But on the streets, yeah. So you can. So, so we'll be there. What Friday night? Is that when Friday night? Yeah, is? we're arriving there Friday night for the uh, little block party. So if y'all there Friday night, come see us. Talk to us. Hang out. Yep. Chill with us. We can do we can do a wolf with a bear cub chaser or whatever. Mm-hmm. So all you chasers, you know, yep. be in Louisiana this weekend. You're just monitoring us. Just monitoring. Oh, just yeah. monitoring. Yeah. Okay. So aren't you very nineteen eighty four? I know. 